Welcome in to another episode of Game On. Alongside cornerback Marco Wilson, I'm Danny Sarek here at training camp, and today we're going to be playing Mario Kart on the Wii. I'm already giving you a leg up because I know you're a big gamer. You're a content creator for an esports team. However, you don't have experience playing with the actual wheel, so it's a little fair. Mm-hmm. You seem confident, though. A little bit. Okay, well then I'll be just as confident. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna start by playing, by choosing rather our characters. So I'll let you go first. Toad. Toad. I kind of had a feeling that's who you were gonna go with. Which course do you want to do? We're gonna play the four games. Mm. So you gotta pick carefully. Let's do flower. I like the flower one. Flower. Yeah. Here's the key though, your strategy was picking Toad. My strategy is I'm gonna ask you a million questions while we're playing to try, try and distract you. First, I'm gonna start with the fact that you're entering your second year in the league. Which part of your game have you been most focused on throughout training camp? Uh, Good luck, by the way. <laughs> I would say, <laughs> I'd say probably like my off coverage and like zone coverages, since it's something that is like, I'm not, uh, I wasn't always used to playing in college. I was more of a, like a main corner. So it's good to work on that. So I can just be more versatile in my game. You're doing pretty well. You're in third and I am in 11th. I have, oh, now I'm in 12th out of 12. So I think my a lot strategy, of questions are hard. <laughs> trying to play and answer the questions are really My strategy hard. is not working too well so far. <laughs> Congratulations, you came in first. I came in second. So you've got that one so far. So we're gonna go to the next course. Let's do the parkway. That one looks cool. Okay. Marker, you're very close with Simmons and with Byron Murphy. Mm-hmm. Why does your trio mesh so well? You guys are always dancing and laughing together. I think our personalities just go good together. Um, I think it's just as simple as that. Our personalities clash in the right way. Oh, what the heck? I'm in the grass? <sighs> I'm all the way in the back. You tricked me. You told me that before we started playing, you weren't going to be good because you never played with the wheel. <laughs> And you are very good at this. I, mean, I pick up video games pretty easy, though. What's your favorite video game to play? Uh, probably Call of Duty. Like, I, I still love video games. I play, like, I play, I play more FIFA now, though. I love FIFA. Do you play with anybody on the team? Because there's a lot of players on this team that claim to be the best video gamer in that locker room. Yeah, they do. Uh, I, I do. I play with Byron and um, Isaiah on Call of Duty a few times. Um, oh, I just passed you. You have your own YouTube channel. Yes. Which is pretty good. You've got a lot of videos. Mm-hmm. And you have one where you vlogged a day in the life. Mm-hmm. What do you like about vlogging and giving people an inside look into your life? Um, I mean, the vlogging aspect is pretty cool because I know people like to see this stuff. But um, it's more about like, I like creating like videos. And I like when I create something and people enjoy what I'm creating. So that's like the coolest part for me. Well, you just came in first. I'm in second, but I was far behind you. So congrats again. It's two nothing. <laughs> Do you see a future after football doing something in front of the camera like that, creating content? Uh, no, 100%. Um, growing up, I did want to. Um, I did want to act. Yeah, and then going into college, I wanted. I was thinking about going to USC, and if I went there, I probably was going to major in theater. Really? Yeah, but it didn't work out that way. The third course we're going to do is Delfino Square. You picked this one, so we'll see. I keep coming like right behind you, but I feel like maybe this is the turning point for me. So I'm going to beat you. It could be. (laughs) Marco, you are really into fashion as you're wearing a shirt right now with your face and your name on it. Yeah. Who inspires your style? I'd say uh, a few people that I look at is probably Bloody Dior and Bloody Osiris, um, two guys out of New York. Um, like certain rappers, some rappers are just pretty uh, nice. Like, oh, I just hit you with a red shell. That was me. And I hit you. Oh, this is so my game. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you just passed me. Okay, it's the final lap. You're in first, I'm in second. Oh, I'm looking at the map where it shows where all the characters are, and you are smoking me. <sighs> so this is, is this the third time now that you've come in first and I'm coming second? <laughs> oh, I'm just always second best to you. Fourth and final course. And I'm claiming that this one will be mine. I heard an interesting story. 
that I think the fans would like to know. Oh shoot, I just got hit with a red shell. Yeah, me too. <gasps> that when you were going through the draft process and you had your virtual interview with your now cornerbacks coach, oh, Greg man. Williams, you know what I'm gonna ask? <laughs> Which is cool because first of all, he drafted your brother. Yeah. So what happened in that virtual interview before you got drafted? Uh, during the, <laughs> it was on Zoom, so, I mean, I had my phone set up, like, in a good spot, I thought, and I thought, like, my door to my room was closed, you know, make sure, like, no noise or anything or any distractions, and then in the middle of the interview, <laughs> in the middle of the interview, my cat, like, jumped up on the table and, like, walked across the screen, and I just tried to, like, move out the way and, like, play it off and just, like, keep talking, but, like, he definitely saw it, and he was, like, <laughs> he asked, he was, like, what was that? I was, like, oh, like, my cat just walked across the screen. It was pretty funny. Pretty memorable. Congratulations. Once again, Marco came in first and I came in second. You are good at this. You're 12 points behind. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Well, if I'm going to take not too bad from somebody who creates content for esports teams as a video gamer, that probably isn't too bad. Congratulations on the win, Marco. Thanks for coming on Game On. For Marco Wilson, I'm Danny Sarath.